Hi, and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so I had a subscriber ask me for a video of my recommendations for neutral blushes that go with all eye looks. And so I filmed that. Go check it out on my channel after you're done with this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Love you so much. Okay, but then also I thought let's do the other end of the spectrum. Let's do my blushes <laughs> that are not neutral. <laughs> that are the other variety of blushes. The ones that are kind of crazy color. They have very specific properties. Um, my wild blushes. That's my wild blushes. I am a blush lover. I wear it all the time. Whenever I wear makeup, I wear blush. And I enjoy fun products. So these are super fun. I hope that this is as enjoyable for you as it is for me. Because I pulled all these bad girls out and I was like, ooh, I want to wear this one and I want to wear that one and I want to wear this one. And you're going to see, we have a variety of colors. We have some variety of finishes. I have some creams. I have some uh, powders. We got all kinds. So let's do it. Some of these are no longer available, but I'm still going to show you because I want to. But also you might be able to find them on Poshmark or Mercari, something like that. Or it might inspire you to go dig in your blush drawer at the very back for something you haven't used in a while, but was a lot of fun. And so, and actually two of my very favorite blushes, like my top two blushes, in my entire collection are in this video. Because, and I'll tell you which ones they are. Because I love them. They are loud, proud, and in your face. Okay, so let's, so again, some of these are, they're very unique. <laughs> I'm not wearing any of these. I'm actually wearing one of my neutral blushes, which is truly a bronzer in today's video, but whatever. Okay, so where to start? I'm looking at all the joy in front of me and I'm telling you it's crazy. Okay, let's start with a these are going to stain my hand so bad. <laughs> the things I do for love. Okay, this is a She Glam blush. If you don't purchase from She Glam, that's okay. This is the shade from their Frida collection. Uh, this is the shade Flower Crown. And she, this is just going to be just a video of looks. Like, that's all I'm going to do is look at you. Flower Crown from the Frida collection. This was a beautiful collection, by the way. I haven't purchased from She Glam in a long time, but I do not regret this collection. It's absolutely stunningly gorgeous. And this shade, I've worn it several times. It's just, it's just that bright and beautiful. Can you shear it out some? A little. Why would you though? If you're gonna get this shade, why shear it out? Like why do that? Okay, I'm gonna stick with my creams. Let me gather my creams so that we do it all together. Um, <laughs> this shade I think might still be available. This is the ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blush. This is in the shade Natural World. She's a purple blush. And not, I, I think probably not very many people purchase purple blushes in the world. I do. Uh, I really like purple blushes. This is a beautiful one. She's more of a, like a, I would say a lilac. Um, so a little bit, lilac to me has a little bit of gray. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not lavender, it's not pastel, but if there's a little bit of a, a darkness that's not blue, it's more gray. Anyway, this is Natural World by ColourPop. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. This product, I remember when I bought, this is going to be a, this is going to be a storytelling video. So if you don't like those, you, you definitely won't like me. So unsubscribe right now because this is how I am. Okay. So, but if you do, welcome to the circus. Um, I was in Boston on a contract where I used to travel and do work. And I saw this in the Sephora that I don't remember where it was, but it was this, beautiful mall but kind of not mall it was very weird it wasn't like a southern mall any hoozle um and i just like bought like bread and butter and had that for lunch it was that kind of day you know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. and i went to sephora and i saw this and bought it and i've never regretted it it is old it is old 
This is not available anymore. I do not believe. This is from, okay, I'm gonna try. This is from Chosunga, which I believe what it is a Korean brand. It was sold at Sephora for like that long. I had, after I purchased this, I went back and I bought like the foundation. I had a bunch of products. This is the last one in my collection because she is so unique. Look how much of this I've used, but let me show you this thing. Okay, so it has the little doodah, and I'm gonna have to do it on my wrist, I think. I don't know if you're going to be able to appreciate the, the neon lavender pink. I mean, and I got way too much. Let me try to get less so that you can see it. It's like nothing. I hope you can see how neon that is on camera. This is so beautiful, but wild. <laughs> Would you wear this? I am. I love it. So, I love it that much. I love it so much. Is it still good? I hadn't broken out, so I'm going to still use it. Uh, I literally, it was manufactured in 2015. I'm going to shut up, but that's where we are. Don't judge. But that's a gorgeous gorgeous blush. Another really old product, because you should probably throw your products away if they're really old. There's my PSA for that. I don't, but you could, is ColourPop did a collaboration with Hello Kitty a million years ago. This was the OG one, not the like, they did one a few years after that, which is still a whole bunch of years ago. <laughs> so I got like all the products. And this is the shoe Super Shock Cheek in Coin Purse. And this is still creamy, kids. Yes, it is. Do I keep my lid on tight? Yes, I do. Holy cannoli, that's a beautiful color. It is so pretty. It is bright. And it is so pretty. I love it. That's the Hello Kitty ColourPop Coin Purse is the name of that one. It's like a strawberry, you know what I mean? Like it's strawberry pink and bright as she can be. A relatively newer product is from NYX. And this is part of their jumbo, like, it's not an eye pencil, but it's a jumbo face product. So they're calling it a jumbo, tiny words, multi-use face stick is what they're calling this. And this is the shade Blueberry Muffin. It's not blue, but it kind of has a blue shift. Again, this is a face stick. It's not an eye stick. I'm sure you could probably use it on your eye if you wanted to knock yourself out. Blueberry Muffin is her name. She is pink flashing blue. She is the most gorgeous little, I mean, you want to talk about sheen shine? There it is. I, I have used it. I have loved it. I'm going to continue to use it and love it. Blueberry Muffin from NYX. Weird shade. Yeah. Love it. Love. Okay. Couple more creams. Man, we're, are, are we not having fun? Okay. I am. Okay. Here is a defunct brand that it's been gone for years. Do I still have these products? Mm -hmm. Would I still use these products? Mm -hmm. You remember Butter London? <laughs> you remember Butter London? Me too. I have two of their cheeky cream blushes, and these are the only two I have left because of their shades. Um, hold on to your, your pantaloons, okay? This is the shade Piccadilly Circus. This is my face, and this is this shade. Piccadilly Circus is the most snow white, flushed, look at her. Piccadilly Circus from Butter London. Can you still get this? No, the whole brand doesn't hasn't existed for probably 10 years. But here we are, swatching it and loving it. That's Piccadilly Circus right there. Gorgeous. Then I have Ruby Murray. I mean, why not? Why wouldn't you use something that shade on your face when you are like an NC-13? From Mac. I don't know. Ruby Murray, we're going to stain, so let's just commit. Okay, there's Ruby Murray. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. 
this is something that I would wear in the winter. Like, and I would do probably like icy white shiny thing on my lid and this and like a, a lip stain that looks more Korean. So it's like in the center more concentrated and then kind of blend it out. That's when I would use a shade like this or whenever you want. I have a feeling this is gonna be duped by another product that I will get to in just a moment. I have a feeling it's similar, so we'll see. Okay, here is some more. I don't know if these are still available. I don't have any idea. This is the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in Sweet Mulberry. Mm -hmm. Both of these <clears throat> are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We have a matte and we have a shimmer. They are obviously very similar tones. The shimmer is lighter uh, in color, but that is a gorgeous shade. This is the only shade that I own. You remember these were all like in the Ulta Days of Beauty or whatever, like several times in a row. This is the only one that I bought and I bought it during that time. And I do not regret that this is the shade that I got because it is so unique and so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, this shade I purchased secondhand um, because I had always wanted it and I never saw it um, in person to get it. Also, I didn't want to pay full price. Um, I'll just show it to you. It's a pure color blush from Estee Lauder. It is in the shade <laughs> Naughty. And she is the orangest thing, almost a red orange, like she is orange. I don't know if that's picking up on how orange it actually is. It is orange. This is a very, very pigmented blush, but she is gorgeous. It's the shade Naughty from Estee Lauder. Highly recommend that one. Okay, a newer blush to my collection. And there, I have many iterations of this color. So this kind of represents the color um, that I really like. And this one's the Strawberry Shortcake from Glam Light, but it's this neon baby pink. And this is the only blush shade that they came out with in this collection. Um, I love Strawberry Shortcake as a kid. But the, I mean, it's it's almost like the Chasunga, but it's, it's, it's cooler toned, but just just that same amount of neonness. I mean, it's just, I have shade number four in the Juvia's Place Duo. Um, that is, there's, there in that duo, there's two pink shades. There is one that is this bright, and then the other one that's this bright, it's all my vanity. That's how I pulled it. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie one in uh, Brush with Danger. Same principle. Neon pink, baby pink blush. Love it so much. But this one is gorgeous. This is so pretty. I also like that. Um, I shot a palette. It's just, anyway, it's all, it's all gorgeous. Okay. This one is absolutely wild. And there are two, three, four shades in here that it's an ombre blush. So this is the signature ombre blusher from Moira Beauty. It's in orange blossom. Look at her. Okay. I'm going to try it. She, first of all, embossed to the filth. It's absolutely gorgeous. So highly recommend that if you want to see it. But she is like, she goes from a yellow down to an almost red. My goodness, I'll try to do it here. Yeah, we'll try to get it here. There's the orange here. There's the orangey red. Like, absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful. So different. There are cool, there are way more I don't want to say wearable because this is wearable. Just put it on your face and wear it. But like more um, mainstream colors <laughs> of this blusher as well. If you like the how beautiful it is. It is absolutely stunning. It's a great formula. But that shade in Orange Blossom is very unique in my collection. Uh, another kind of, well, not kind of, loud and proud blush <laughs> is from Kimchi Chic. Now I have met many of you through my Kimchi Chic videos. I have all of her blushes, um, contours, bronzers, 
have all of her stuff. And especially her early eyeshadow palettes. I've watched them all. I have videos on them all. But this is the blush that is the wildest out of the bunch. In her Thaler blush collection, this is Mercedes. Can you just... Both sides are stunningly gorgeous. My fingers are stained. But when you mix them together, it's even better. So let's do little, uh, uh, ha uh, just look at that. Would you just look at it? And then if you mix them together, it's it's unbelievable. Okay, we'll put this in the middle. Okay, there's pink side, orange side, together. Pink side, orange side, together almost neon. I mean, just as beautiful as you think it's going to be, it definitely is. <sighs> These are dusty, but unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Again, more, more uh, mainstream shades of this. Lovely formula, but that is so much fun. Okay, one that is not bright, but that is unique, is a little blush from Chio Torre. Um, and you can't see it anymore, but there was a, it's a, it was a girl's face. I've done worn it off, but it's got this this lavender, beautiful thing, and then that's like almost a powder, so it even lightens it even more. I mean, it's real it's real light, but it is it's so pretty. You're like that's not a blush, is yes, it? Is it can be a blush. <laughs> you put it on your cheeks, it's a blush. It's really cool, y'all. I have a couple of shades of this, but it is, it's, it's very different. It's very different. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Another different one. And this one, I loved it when it came out. Cause I was like, yes, somebody is speaking my language over at NYX. This is their Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in Silence is Golden. I have a couple of looks on my channel with this. Um, just, yes, it is. She's a yellow blush and it is gorgeous. You can do it. You can absolutely wear a yellow blush, knock yourself out. Silence is golden. You can also use the eyeshadow, right? Of course you can. You don't have to necessarily buy a blush, but I did because I was like, let me tell whoever it nicks with my money that that is fabulous as a blush and we love her. Okay, a limited edition, it's no longer available, but oh, how I love her. I love her so much. This is um, an iridescent powder from MAC. I use it as a blush. It was a collection with Justine Skye. And she is so beautiful. This was years and years and years ago. I don't even know how old, but we have used her and used her and used her. And she is this iridescent purple gloriousness. And it is not too dark. So she is right here. She is shiny, but just gorgeous on the cheeks. You could not beat that with a stick. It is so beautiful. I love her. And this was, I, 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 it was the only thing I got from that collection. And I'm so glad that I own it because I love it so much. I've never found anything like that ever again. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I, in my neutral blush video, I talked about how I walked into the Mac store and talked to the makeup artist there. And that person was fabulous. We got along great, like a house on fire. And I asked that person to recommend me one product in the whole store that they thought that I would like. And they did. And it's one of my favorite neutral blushes. I did the same thing at a Clinique counter with someone that I liked very much. And I said, recommend me one thing out of this whole counter and I'll, I, I'd will i love to see what you would recommend. And this is the product that they recommended to me and I love it so much. It's one of their cheek pop blushes, the one with the flower in it. It's the shade Cola Pop. Now this person knew their audience because <laughs> that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna put it on the other side of what was this? The Butter London one. The Butter London one, I think this might be a dupe. Oh, it's close. That's Cola Pop. A little bit, a little bit reddier. I say reddier. A little bit more burgundy, less brown, but also close. 
That's Cola Pop. I saw that and I went, mm -hmm, I'll buy that. Absolutely. Love it so much. It is so cool. I love it so much. And this, this is just stunning packaging, embossing, all of it's great. Okay. I'm getting blush everywhere. Okay. This is another one that I love. I love, I love, this was a gift. Um, this is the flash, oh, back to the future. Um, little fat flash back Trixie blush trio. It is stunningly beautiful. It has an incredibly unique, um, highlighter, but this is the shade that is so pretty. This is Moon Boots, and I've used this slam to death. This is Moon Boots. She is another purpley, like lilac-y. She's there. It doesn't, it doesn't look like a whole lot compared to the insane neons that I have on my hand, but it is the most beautiful blush. All, all three of these are very cool. This one is less unique than the other two. It's a beautiful blush, but this one is so unique. And then this highlighter, if you've never seen it, is, it's a silver highlighter, but it's very unique too. It's so cool. It's such a cool blush palette. The first one, the Summer of Love, is more traditional. It's great. It's a great blush palette too, but this one is really unique. Okay, we're getting down to the, the wire here. Okay, so a few years ago, Wet n Wild did their the Halloween collection that they come out with. And it wasn't just like the Fantasy Maker stuff. They actually had Wet n Wild labeled Halloween stuff. And I bought one product and fell in love. The next year they did it again, so I bought backups. And they came out with more shades. So the thing that I'm talking about is their shade shifting blush in their color icon range. This this one is the shade Vampy, and they are definite duo chromes, if not, I'm gonna say multi chromes. It just depends on the blush itself. So this is Vampy, and she looks in the pan, she looks red burgundy, but she flashes like an orangey copper. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful blush. Th that is a beautiful blush. But the one I fell in love with, and in my top two blushes in my collection, you're, it's, just so, it's so weird. And this thing doesn't even close anymore. It's that old. This is the shade Zombie Blush. And I, I think they called it zombie, j just regular zombie the next year. This was the original one that I bought the first year. This is zombie blush. It looks like green gross. Yes, it does. She's going on this hand because she deserves her own hand. This is zombie blush. I'm going to think I'm insane. Okay, I'm going to swatch hard because she makes a beautiful eyeshadow if you ever want that. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when you actually brush on this shade and wear her like a blush. She is the most unique, almost bruisey, like nothing you have nothing you have in your collection. That is the same finger <laughs> as this. It is, there's a ruddy undertone. So it's a little bit, a little bit ruddy. There is an absolutely gorgeous green sheen. And you're like, man, this is, you're watching a wild blush video. Did you think it was going to be a normal color? <coughs> it's not. I love this blush so freaking much. I have used this blush so freaking much. You can't even tell because you barely use any. But I have used this as an eyeshadow before. Like, it's a really pretty, like, multi-chromed eyeshadow that if you put this on the lid, like, just smear it with your finger and then take your floofy brush, it will brush out, blend out to be a really pretty crease color that works really well. This is zombie blush. I don't know if it's still available. I have no idea. If it's... Come on, snap. Yeah. This thing has been through... The Ringa, baby. I love it so much. And finally, 
uh, probably the most, one of the most tame colors in this, <laughs> in this, but my favorite blush is, uh, it's weird. It's just weird that this is my favorite blush. Part of it is it, it makes me happy to wear it. Therefore, it is my favorite blush. Um, it's one of the Fox in a Boxes from Hard Candy from Forever Ago. My mom gave this to me. And I, I cannot tell you how amazing this blush is. It's a marbleized baked blush. It's in the shade Girl Next Door. She's so cute, right? Absolutely. It was kind of a dupey of the Benefit Box blushes, but it's not a dupe of any of the colors. Just, I think just the packaging was like that, but again, not really. The top is magnetized. This is Girl Next Door. She is not like the most unique color. She's not like the, the weirdest thing, but the sheen on her, it is so gorgeous. I have never had a blush that was just this perky looking on the skin. And let me, let me blend her out too, so that you see what it looks like when you blend her out on your cheeks. It's that. And it's so pretty, y'all. Just a, just a silly little little blo a box blush from Hard Candy of all brands. But love it. Would, would never be without her. Cannot be without her. Hope she lasts forever. In the casket, that better be on my cheeks. Because I, either one actually. Uh, it'd be funny if you put zombie blush on cheeks in the casket. This is so pretty. I love it so much. And there's my, there's my weird wackadoodle wild blushes in my collection. I hope you had just as much fun as I had swatching. We are never going to get these stains off our hands, but you know, it's all in the name of fun. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. It really does help my channel and I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, let's be friends on the internet and talk about some makeup. I'll see you all next time. Thanks. Bye.